So here's a new toy I picked up. I wanted to try some virtual gauges. Um, I'm running the old factory style mechanical gauges, oil pressure, voltage, water temp. Um, for what I'm doing, I would still need to remain, or I would still need to use the oil pressure uh, gauge. Um, I picked up this U, uh, USB, uh, actually it's an OBD2 uh, Bluetooth, uh, kind of like a transmitter. It's made by BAFX Products. It's a diagnostic interface. Um, I got one on eBay. It was like 26 bucks, 27 bucks, and I got a cheap. And yeah, you get what you pay for. Uh, it was like 32 dollars for this uh, tablet. So basically, what I do is, and in my 83 Cutlass, the OBD2 port is in the same spot where the OBD1 port is. Was um, you have to download. Torque. This is Torque Lite. It was free. Obviously, the one you have to pay for, you get a lot more features, a lot better features, a lot better quality stuff. But um, you need to sync it to your Bluetooth. And if you look here, Bluetooth. Bluetooth is it synced? Yep. Paired devices, OBD2. So it's synced. All right, let me get back out of this crap here. Home. This tablet, I think, it was like you can get it for twenty-eight, thirty-two dollars on eBay. Uh, so let me show you what's going on here. You obviously you open up the application. Everyone who uses this uses tablets. I'm sure at some point you use an Android or have an Android device. And business as usual. Turn it on. Make sure my fans turned off. You'll start blinking stuff like it's working or thinking. Data. Why is she not showing any data? It should be, unless it's not paired. Let's go back in here. <laughs> and uh, what's cool about Torque is, like, you can check your fault codes. For example, I just got back from a 30 mile cruise. Clear. Let's see. Show pending faults. What do we got here? Not connected to ECU. Oh, that's nice. That's why it's still blinking. Um, if this thing was completely synced, it would just have that red light on. So we might have, we might have some issues here. Let's go back in here and check my Bluetooth. Did I not turn it on? It's on. Pair devices. <laughs> Should be working. Plastic Mustangs for sale. No thanks. But you can add. Oh, there we go. Now she's working. See, I got the key on. If she would stay. Cold temperature, 199 degrees. Voltage. The only thing I haven't. It's not working. It's my speedometer. I haven't calibrated the vehicle speed sensor with the transmission. So let me start her up. And there's our revs. She's idling a little high. She always does that one. I come back, turn my fan on. Kill it. Yada, yada, yada. So, I mean, most of you guys are, you know, most of my subscribers, if anyone has interest in doing this, you already know what's, you know, you're, you know how to use a cell phone, you know how to use a tablet, you mess with Bluetooth, you can do this. And you go into settings here. You can do, you can email logs. I mean, if you have a tuner, it's like, hey, send me a log. You can record your data log. I mean, you can do pretty neat shit like, uh, where was it? Add a dis, well, that's not what I wanted to do. Add display. And obviously I like my dials. Uh, you can do graphs, it doesn't really matter. And look at all your other options. This is Torque, Torque Lite. This is the free version. Look, you get your fuel trim, fuel pressure, if you have such a setting. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm probably going to spend the money and buy the app. And I'm going to mount this up here somehow, maybe. 
Well, at first I need to get my speedometer going, but I, my sp I need help. All right, just mount the tablet up here somehow. You know, maybe I'll have to make some kind of a mount for it, make it look decent, so I can get rid of this, get rid of my tack that's been in here forever and ruined my dash pad when I was a stupid kid. <laughs> but hey, um, the OBD2 interface, here it is again, BAFX products. This is by far one of the best ones they had in terms of, you know, you have your other brands. Um, this one had the most purchases and the highest reviews, so I went with it. And like I said, the tablet was like 32 bucks. So for like under 60 bucks, you can have yourself some virtual gauges. You can check your fault codes. There's so many, so many pretty, so many cool things you can do with it for the price. You can't beat it. Um, so I owed you guys a valuable, valuable update. This doesn't just work with LS, uh, LSX swapped vehicles. It works with pretty much anything with an OBD2, any performance application with an OBD2. And for the price, you can't beat it. I mean, you can drive around with your laptop if you want, but I mean, or you can just get a cheap tablet you don't really care about in the interface. And it works in any car. It's not like you have to spend money on credits and it goes to the computer, it goes to any, any car. So, any questions, comments, like usual, hit me up. I'll do my best to answer them and get back to you in a timely manner. Enjoy your weekend, guys.